like a reading for yourself, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. It's usually where people like to hit me up for readings. And thank you, because the people who do private reads actually help provide, you know, what I offer for free. So, thank you, y'all. Alright, so this one's gonna be for Virgo. And can we just, can we have a group exhale for all the Virgos out there right now? I feel like y'all been going through it. And it's, it's even showing here, I will say. <sighs> I feel like you guys are just mind on the relationship, if that makes sense. It's like, and I, like, it's a little harder because it is a general. And like, sometimes my mind just wants to go to one direct piece of the pie but one thing that's really clear to me is that regardless if you're heavily involved or lightly involved the mind is playing games on you Virgo it's like who do I trust who do I love is it worth it let me work it <laughs> should I put my thing down flip it and reverse it should I really like you know um and what it comes down to is the quality of the experience. I feel like a lot of times we tend to overlook the good and, and focus on the bad. You know, that's this is very Virgo. It happens sometimes. But you have to be able to see that there's no real reason for major conflict in terms of, like, your love life right now. There could just be a little bit of finality needed in terms of decision making you know saying you're moving in a certain direction and sticking to it but there's really not a problem unless it's created by you if that makes sense and oh child i feel like these comments about to be lit they about to get me whoo okay here's the thing too with that propaganda card don't let your mind be racing for no reason like I just, I feel like right now, the world is just, like, a very stressful place. And I think we all kind of need to just, like, woo saw for a second. Because, you know, you might just be carrying the stresses of everything else into your relationship. And even though your relationships may not necessarily be, like, uncomfortable or anything, they may sometimes have those moments because it could be, like, Reflecting back other aspects of your life. It's just really important to... I guess recenter the self, right? Your earth sign. It's about being able to find where you are presently. And... Like, grounding yourself within that reality. And knowing that that's the fact of the matter. Yeah, even looking at the traditional tarot, it's just like, you could save yourself so much trouble if you just didn't expect bad for yourself or your relationships, you know? Then when I look at the Astrodice, Saturn, Cancer, 8th house, that's really funny to me because it's like, it's saying that there are some things in life emotionally and structurally, so emotional structures, those would be the way we've come to believe about certain things they could definitely use a revamping or a transformation so it might be a really good time to focus on where it is that you're being triggered to have a moment of growth as opposed to a moment's agitation see the lesson within it and do your best to just put a good vibration out there you know the universe is always going to be a reverberation of what it is that we put out. So it's like, the better you see things going for yourself, the better things you're going to attract constantly. Just gotta have faith. I really hope that gives you some clarity, Virgo. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that stuff. Let me know what sign to do next. But yeah, beyond that, oh yeah, side note, you guys, open up your charts, like your birth charts, look at your houses, those astrodites be killing me when I be comparing them to people's charts. 
look and see where those placements are you may find that there are some alignments that are really pointing to some things each month so yeah i appreciate you guys and i'll see you inside the next one